So Barbados shows that there is no peace with wokeism whatsoever. And this was sort of a, a minor story, let's say, for most media and all the rest of it. Because, of course, this is Barbados leaving the crown. They officially they made themselves care. a no republic. And, you know, it's some tiny island. But from what I can tell as someone looking out and what the activists on the ground are claiming is that there was a massive influence from BLM doing this and therefore intersectional politics as oh, really? a momentum for doing this. And I thought we'd just look at, as again, a foreigner on the ground, what can we tell about Barbados? Uh, a white supremacist country, as has been claimed by those on the ground. And we can see the cabinet, for example. So this is a website which just has the cabinet of Barbados. And as you can see here is the, uh, I can't remember if she's prime minister or president. But well, she's president of the republic now. Sure. Yeah. So there's uh, her. And if we just keep scrolling, I think we have all the different other members of the cabinet. So these are the mm. most powerful people in the country. Again, mm. um, any kind of commonality? I'm noticing that Barbados's government is 100% diverse. Yes. As John would say. I mean, I love the Adam. It really is yes. 100% diverse. There is 0% non-diversity there because 100% of them are black. That's, yes. that's the thing there. That's how this works. And that's the case. So Barbados is being run exclusively by black people. And for who? Well, the the fact that it is run entirely by black people is not um, an accident or unexpected or even wrong, to be frank, of course, because it is 90% black, the population. But if we go to the, the next one, we have the MPs as well. Which is the, of course, yep. I mentioned like ninety percent of lag, but there's still two point four percent white population. Mm -hmm. So I mean, when I, you know, one of the MPs probably white. Hey, John, pick an MP, any MP, give the link a click. Let's go for Bishop Joseph. Ah, uh, he's a black guy. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, you could have picked any. All of them are lag, hundred percent. Right. I'm, so I'm not joking. Every all the parliament, all the government, everyone in charge of Barbados is black. Yes. So uh, I'm actually, a, I'm just to be clear, ninety-two percent black Barbadian Barbadoan population 2.7 percent white with whatever the others are is like asian or whatever right so if there's white supremacy here it's going to be very difficult to identify yeah also the whites are actually by leftist logic being systemically oppressed because they are not representative in the structures of power or probably on the tvs or right. anywhere else oh, right okay so well, okay. that's that's the situation and again we'll go to the next one which is just the whitest black guy i could find <laughs> from the list. So I suppose if there is any white supremacy, it's this dude. I mean, he is named <laughs> William. So, hmm, uh, maybe. Maybe maybe the, the doctor here. Maybe. He, he is the white guy of the black guys. So, I, I mean, I, I, I just want to say, right, th this is basically how I'd expect a country that is 90% black to look as well. Yes. Right? You'd expect it to look like the majority population. Which is, again, why, we then, you know, as a reminder, why it's so weird when Foreigners yes. come here and they're like, why, why is everyone white? The, chief, the, the Lord Chief Justice, white. The Minister for Justice, white. Well, actually, I get the opposite. I often get Americans saying, well, I came to England expecting to meet English people and I went to London and I didn't. Yeah, but it hasn't happened to Scotland quite yet, which is why Hamza Yusuf was so mad. Yes. Anyway, moving on. So let's go to the uh, the next point here, which is the election. So the, uh, again, I showed this all on the, on the scroll podcast. Scroll down a bit, John, because the a shill. Uh, for, 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 for uh, Leo. But I really wanted to get your response to all this because we'll get into the clips in a minute. But if we scroll down, we, of course, can have the election itself and the election results. 100% Labour. As in 100% of the seats went 30 seats out of 30 a Barbados Labour Party. I mean, you know, great for them, but... And look at the other options, though. The Democratic <laughs> Labour Party. The United Progressive <laughs> Party. Oh, okay. I love that. Is there it's... a conservative? Oh, there is. There's a progressive conservative party. <laughs> <laughs> they got 0.01% of the votes. They got 10 votes. So I don't Literally know. 10 votes. <laughs> okay. I don't know, you know, Barbados uh, <laughs> politics, obviously. <laughs> but but it... the conservatives build themselves as being progressive. So there we go. Very conservative. Well, what's the difference to everywhere else? Well, anyway. I, but it's a contradiction in terms. But it's irrelevant. Party for they don't, progress. They don't have any votes. They don't have any oh, seats. Yeah. They've got 10. they got no fans. Nothing. The Labour Party has everything. So again, I mean, look at these are the power structures. And if we go to the last one here, <laughs> just, just the demographics, which are, again, I think, what is it? 91% black, 4% mixed, 3.5% white, and 1% South Asian. Okay. So this, right. is the, this is the power structure. This is everyone who's in charge. <laughs> Vote Labour. 100% Labour. You don't get a choice. You literally, no, no other representatives. Good luck with that. Why? Why you... would the population vote so overwhelmingly for one party? I don't know. Maybe there's a political scandal there. I guess maybe embarrass the other Labour Party. So instead, but everyone voted for the first Labour Party, or like you know liberals or whatever. God save the Queen Party. I don't know. Anyway, so that's that's the situation though. Is you know, it's everyone's black. Everyone in power's black. Everyone in the government's Labour, and yet white supremacy is the big issue. <laughs> so I mean, this is why I couldn't let go of it because it's it's just so beautiful. It's. <laughs> 
and cartoonish. It, and the point that, you know, the wokers still demand X, Y, and Z here, say, in London right now. But literally, like, let's give them their own island, okay? The intersectional politics... A tropical can, island. ...can have a tropical island where they can run their intersectional politics, and even we have the miracle here of uh, the majority of the population being victims of oppression, of course, right. and therefore they can build their own society without any oppressors around, because they're all not there. Cause I mean, they're literally, you'd have to really hunt hard to find an oppressor here. Yeah, I mean, none of them are in politics, let's say, for one. Yeah. It's just evidently. And uh, yeah, no, it doesn't really matter. So racism still persists. I mean, the article, remember, what is it? Even when there are no uh, white people, will there still be racism? Or will still there will be white supremacy? Apparently, yes. Barbados shows yes. So if we go to the next one, this is just the, one of the articles in which some guy was whining about the fact that the Nelson statue exists. Right. And this is the one point of contention that they had that they could point to and say, that's oppressing us. <laughs> the statue. The statue of Nelson. The piece of stone. Like, the various stones that make up the statue were oppressing the population, presumably. Keeping a brother down with his gaze. Well, I mean, thank God he couldn't move. Imagine what he would have been capable of well, with a statue animated. So I, I mentioned he was keeping him down with the gaze because he was looking at the high street and then they decided that that wasn't allowed so they turned the statue around <laughs> so he wasn't looking at the high street anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what? So he wasn't oppressing them with his gaze. And, oh uh, my God. So he can move. So, so. That statue of Nelson is looking at me and that's holding me down. Yeah, so they, they turned it around so he wasn't looking at the high street. I presume he was cursing it with white supremacy or, or something. And uh, then they decided oh, that that wouldn't do. Now oh, the other side of the street's cursed or how something. How is this real? So they, they ended up taking it down. There's an image in here somewhere in which they have it taken it down. It's just the statue being taken down. And they moved it to the museum. So none of that. His, his statue won't harm anyone anymore. Of course. Apart from museum patrons. Yes. Anyway, so I, I, looking at all this, this is essentially intersectional politics interacting in the sphere, which is completely foreign to British culture. It is an Americanism. It oh, yeah. It is slowly encroached on the rest of the Anglosphere. Uh, and we will, of course, say it is a left-wing American thing. Obviously. Yeah. But the, the, the other point here being that I've run into something like this before, where I was reading North Korea's Juche Myth, which is a good book. We'll do a book club on it sometime, but not now. Look to it. Yeah. And there's an image in there that I found, and there's this image, and it's a bunch of North Koreans who were liberated by the Soviets. And so the Soviets brought huge pictures of, as you can see, Karl Marx, Engels, mm -hmm. Lenin, Stalin, and made them walk around in the capital with these huge pictures for a parade. So they'd take pictures of it and be like, we've liberated North Korea. I mean, it looks like a conquest, but carry on. Yeah, and I was I, I had a weird feeling when looking at this image. I had white guilt looking at this, which, you know, doesn't really make any sense. I'm not a German, so I'm not responsible no, for No, but I can see where you're going with it. But it's just like, Jesus Christ. And I, I feel like the Yankees should have some Yankee guilt about what they have done to Ooh, Barbados. Good point. And we're going to see some of it. So let's go for the clips. So let's start with clip one. Yeah. Literally the black police. What? The black police policing the black population in the island that is almost entirely black people, and the government is entirely black people, and all of the government positions are run by the left wing party. But I'm seeing end white, white supremacy. supremacy. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's the chant. What I, cringe. And obviously this is stuff they've got off Twitter. Like, you know, things yeah. that they have seen off Twitter, I can't breathe and stuff like that. It's like what what? What's all got to do with anything? And Too much weed? Barbados? I, I don't know. I, it's, I mean, there were some people there in like, I don't think I added it in the clubs there, in like Africa uniforms as well. Like they had the Pharaoh symbol as a, as a totem. And it's like, okay, Based. right. There's, there's American black nationalism. Fantastic. That's made its way to Barbados. Yeah. And the intersectional politics of just right. screeching about white supremacy, except that, you know, you can get away with that in America. Because people don't think about it too I mean, much. at least there are white people in charge in America. Yeah. So at least it makes some kind of sense. But when then you go to a place where there are no white people in charge? <laughs> it looks a bit weird. Just, uh, just a little bit. And you would have thought like any... Imagine you're one of those people in that crowd, right? And you're chanting... Wait, hang on. <laughs> like, could you not look around and be like, well, hang a tick. Where are all the white people? Well, I mean, there's two there, actually. So I mean, that, we found them. That's the 2.7% of Barbados is white. Because there are only like 400,000 people in Barbados, so it's not that big. Yeah. I mean, but, th these are the people keeping everyone else down in that yeah. crowd. But what I, lo I love about this is that you can just imagine you're just some Barbadian store owner. You're just in a shop. You know, you go in this morning, you can do your business, you're standing out and you're waiting for customers, and then this Black Lives Matter march goes down. He's like, 
I haven't seen a white person in 10 years. What the hell? You know, you know what's funny is there's loads of police officers around protesting the, sorry, protecting the march, right? Yeah. Uh, they're all black as well. <laughs> protecting them from the KKK now. And they're all in like uh, British uniforms because it was still <laughs> at the time. <laughs> <laughs> so it's so funny. <laughs> they're just like, why am I having to do this? Anyway, <laughs> let's go for clip two in which they talk about why they're here. Oh, yeah. Me are here today also to express George our George. position against racism, against the exploitation of black working class people. That is what we are here today, comrades and friends. We have to make a number of demands on our government. Because racism is right here in Barbados. Racism is right here in Barbados. We have to make demands of the government about racism. The entirely black government. They're a 100% Labour Party. We've got to make demands of them to deal with the racism in Barbados. Against <laughs> who? And by who? <laughs> like, that's, that's the thing. Like, when everyone is black, are you still being oppressed by whitey? Answer is yes. Well, they're oppressing the black working class, Callum. Again, comrades as well. I don't the know black white supremacists are oppressing the black working class. Do you He's not like, see how this works? I just, I just, I just, this is why I can't let this go because it, it's it <laughs> this is, is brilliant. It is so unbelievable, and I can't believe that everyone just sort of let this <clears throat> by. And I'm just like, I have found a gold mine. Yes. Yeah. So let's enjoy the next one as well. So we'll move on. This is the next one. Is uh, him, of course, talking about the Royal Barbados Police Force and why that has to go, because that's white supremacy. Oh, defund the police, that can't end badly. Again, when they're all black. But let's play the next clip. The Royal Barbados Police Force is not your force. It's the Queen Force. <laughs> the only point that you must understand is the Royal Barbados Police Force loyal to her majesty Queen and not the people of Barbados. Lord Nelson is your enemy. I mean, Americans, are you feeling the Yankee guilt yet? Looking at all those Black Lives Matter fists, t-shirts and merch, along with all the pictures of George Floyd, while this guy screeches about that there's racism in the country about because Lord the Queen... Nelson? The, the Lord Nelson statue Died 200 exists. years ago. The Queen, still, at the time, was... The... Ah, yes, the Queen's keeping her knee on the neck of the Barbadoan. But it, I, d I don't think she even thinks about them, ever. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> I mean, self-governing colony, I think, is, is the, oh, the most God. charitable interpretation. But even then, okay, well, now you're a republic. Who are you going to blame then? They got rid of the statue, too. Yeah. So... Got rid of the Queen, got rid of the statue... Has racism ended? No, of course not. What tangible difference is there going to be in your lives? That, that's 3.5%, bro. That's what's going to be. And again, I mean, this is racial socialists all over. The problem, <laughs> problem, problem. Okay, we got rid of all of those. Now what? Well, white people still exist. So I was like, okay. <laughs> right. I mean, again, every socialist revolution has had this on class yeah. basis, but racial socialists have the same thing. Okay, we'll get rid of all the minorities as the Chinese did or the Russians did. Yeah, yeah, I else, guess right? that's the next logical step. Are all the problems solved yet? No. It's so almost like that wasn't the problem to begin with. <laughs> Anyway, but this, the, again, this gets longer. So I'm trying not to sit laughing. But there's nothing else to do, is there? It's, it's just, clown. it's so stupid. Like, sorry, I realise this isn't the preview of commentary you might be expecting. <laughs> I mean, where's the commentary? Well, what am I supposed to say? Oh, God, but it gets worse. And this is the stuff I, I didn't have uh, time to add into the clip. Yeah, you so. see the like, police with the background just like... Yeah, dude, there's loads of them as well. And you can see them all being like, why am I here? Just why am I here? <laughs> anyway, so this guy comes up and speaks and uh, he announces that the government has informed him that they're going to put a resolution up to discuss Black Lives Matter. So, Oh, again, I wonder if the black government's going to agree that Black Lives Matter. Black government, 100% Labour. I wonder if they're going to agree with BLM. <laughs> yeah, black leftists in government don't, dis don't disagree. I don't know. Let's uh, play the clip and see the crowd's response. The government has informed me that... Next week, a resolution on Black Lives Matter will be put on the agenda in the House of Assembly. You 
you're getting everything you want. How is that an appropriate response? I love it. This is like, we're literally, we have the government on our side. I mean, you are pushing an open door. And you're like, <laughs> I can't breathe. Like, we are the oppressed. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? I was going to say, right? It's oh. like in, in Scotland, if they were to be like, you know, we want the SNP to accept that Scottish lives matter. But the thing is, I actually don't think the SNP would pass that resolution. No. They, they wouldn't agree to, that Scottish lives matter. They'd have to define Scottish and uh, they'd yeah. have a problem with that. Exactly. So, like, this is a, a particular advantage that the people of Barbados have because they're black. Again, but it's, it, it, I, I'm sorry. I know it is so obvious, but it's just like, what the f- is going on there's just no resistance no but also just everyone here like i know we joke a lot about leftists but living in a cult and being npcs and whatnot and you know <laughs> our, our leftists are cringe you know american <laughs> leftists are cringe but when you go to like countries like this you know that we, we forget like foreigner leftists are cringier than cringe they're they're at a level of thinking that just i i don't know if a brussels sprout could do it you know it's just, oh god this is amazing let's go to the next clip <laughs> Barbados disagrees with that. I name them, find them. Yeah, I mean, that might be the one white lady in this crowd as well, apart from the other two. I doubt she's against Black Lives Matter, you know. Yeah, but anyway, again, I love how it's an LGBTQQIA plus moment. Of course, it's very intersectional. Black trans lives matter. Okay, black neurodivergent (laughs) lives matter. It's like. Are you even saying? <laughs> There's a big crowd of them, so I mean, <laughs> neurodivergent even mean? It, it means ma- crazy. Is that just retarded people? Yeah, it means crazy. But like retarded, it must be like retarded, crazy, all the different it types. Mean, right? It means yeah, yeah, or like the the spectrum. Any anyone who isn't like you know normal. Yeah, from she's a like, cognitive that, that just does, You know, yeah, I so. too have mental health problems. That's yes. why I'm in BLM. Yeah, well, that's literally <laughs> it. Like it's a big crowd of neurodivergent people. Karen. Oh god, the trans lives matter. Black sex workers' lives matter. I, it's, is there anything to be said? Again, it's just so unbearable. There is a, there is a point in there I, did, I didn't clip, but she ends up whining about the white elite that run the country as well. And <laughs> what? I just, okay. just like, fucking who? She <laughs> like, stopped swearing. Sorry, but, but I, just, I can't I know, help I know. it looking at this. Well, the thing is, okay, may- maybe that 2.7% of white people are, own some businesses or something like that. <laughs> They've got no positions in government. No. They have not even an MP no. with the same skin tone. No police. Not a political party. No. No representation, not even like a minority party that can make some noises. Nothing. Probably not on TV. No. Probably. Plus plus they're all Irish. They're not really right anyway, but uh, that's a whole other conversation. (laughs) Let's go to the uh, the next one, which is uh, a guy asking about the businesses, as you mentioned, which is uh, how many of the businesses along the high street are owned by black people? And I have no idea, but let's see what the crowd say. Just in case you think I am talking about something in abstraction. As you are walking through Broad Street, how many businesses do black people own? On Broad Street in this country. So in that one street, let's say, I mean, we had a look at it. It is, it is the high street of the main city. Yeah, and we, we saw international uh, chains. Yeah. Right? So I can't remember there are any of the particular ones, but it's like the sort of things you'd see in any high street. So, I mean, what does that mean? I don't know, but I don't know if it's true, for one. Yeah. I, I don't think it is. These might be franchised or whatever. But also, I think he might just be BSing. He may well be. But also, the idea, if it is true, that if it's a very small percentage or something, that you've got 91% of the population, but yet you can't get to the position of even, I don't know, 50% as a target of yeah, the stores being like, owned? The, on that one street, where it's all like, uh, well, I'm, I'm sure I saw like, you know, in, there are international jewellery chains and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, clothing, have, fast yeah. food, so on. And so it, okay, yeah. But then, you know, how many English people own, you know, the McDonald's that I see in the high streets in town? None. 
Well, we're not even talking about just in town. We're talking about in London, right? Oh, yeah, exactly. And that's, but that's just on one street. He's, he's acting like there are no black owned businesses in Barbados. No, it's illegal for a black man to own a business. The black, par- <laughs> the black parliament passed that bill last year. Yeah, the black friend. Labour Party made sure that, <laughs> that was, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no doubt. It, that is just comical. Oh, just okay, insane. so the problem, in fact, is that there are non black people operating businesses in Barbados. And that can't go badly, surely. Right, if you're like, literally, we're going to kick out all of the mm. non-black people who are doing something productive in our country. Are there any other countries, perhaps in Africa, ex-colonial countries that may have done something similar? I, yeah, a few. I mean, Zimbabwe is the best one, isn't and it? And how did that go? Uh, same as South Africa's going right now. Right. And uh, same as Nazi Germany, actually, as well, because <laughs> they are, of course, talking... <laughs> I, I mean, I, they're basically the same philosophies. Look, I, you know, Godwin's I mean, law and all it that. literally is. It's not Godwin's law, because I bring it up for a reason, and we'll get back to this chap and his views on the Jews in a minute. But he uh, he is complaining, essentially, that there are the enemy race, who are a minority, like tiny minority, because presumably it's anything on, but I'm black. On, I'm telling you an epiphany. From his perspective, like... White people are the Jews of Barbados, but that makes Jews the white people of white people. I think that's how it works for From black nationalists. So yeah, like yeah. so they're like a, a a special privileged class of white people. But he's like, yeah, so this tiny minority are ruling over us with their businesses and their success. Uh, unlike us, and I'm like, uh, seems like a dunk on yourself, but whatever. And uh, we well, need probably to, not true anyway. But we need to get rid of them being able to own that property, and then we'll behind be free because I suppose Nelson and the Queen wasn't enough, or wasn't doing enough anyway. I, again, with the white elite, don't know who they are. I mean, I've I mean, never been to Barbados, rather. but it looks relatively prosperous. All these people look well fed. They look like they're yeah. wearing nice modern clothing. They have cell phones. They have like you know modern technology. They seem to have a nice place. I, like I don't know, but like they took a huge hit because of coronavirus and the tourists. They weren't any tourists, sure. but yeah, okay. you know they're doing all right. It's going to be a problem for a Caribbean island anyway. But this chap again, because of the Afrocentrism of black nationalists who believe we was Kangs, literally. This guy decided to then spend the rest of the evening chanting about going back to Egypt and letting my people go. Which... <laughs> what the Egyptians are like? What? What? <laughs> a, you're not from here. B, piss off. Also, you're not Jewish, so <laughs> that song doesn't apply. Also, we will get to his position on the Jews later. So let's play this clip. <laughs> I see. The black pharaoh was in, enslaving the black Hebrew Israelites to be slaves in Egypt, which has been populated since time immemorial by nothing but black people until exactly the present day when it's populated by Middle Easterners. Yes. Uh, no other time. There, there's no historic drawings of how the Egyptians saw the people around New. them. No. I, I yeah. don't know if I've shown you it. They actually have like, oh, here's what a Syrian is, a oh, Libyan. Yeah. Here's us and here's the Sudanese. Oh, yeah. And it's like... Yeah, it's it's almost like they don't yeah, see you get, themselves. Yeah, you get as black. like you know the the giant pharaoh, and he's got all of these subject peoples of his reign, mm. and they're all very different. It's an interesting ethnography, frankly, on yeah. how they see themselves. But uh, no, the carvings we, of the sea people are particularly interesting. We was Egyptians, and also the slaves, which um, don't know how that works. So S- stop <laughs> oppressing yourself. Stop oppressing yourself. <laughs> <I> just, <laughs> like, mad. Why? So then uh, there's a whole bunch of other just crap that's yeah. just mind-numbing, Go like on, same, same slogans. But then this next section is from another video that this uploader put to YouTube mm. in which he films them going to the Nelson statue before it was taken down and demanding that it looking away from the high street wasn't enough. You know, it was still cursed, <laughs> therefore destroy it. And there were two interesting clips from there. So this is the first one, which is part of the protest, and you can get the feel for what it was like. So let's play. Black people. Black power. Black love, black discovery, black unity, black community, black knowledge, black power, black integration, black can only see black people, black invention, black work, black magic, black movement, black brotherhood, black motherhood, black sisterhood, black fatherhood, black liberation, black power. No, no. Uh, <laughs> everything other than Black Father, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, there's an audible pause as well where he goes, Black, what is it? Sisterhood, Black Motherhood. And then he's like, Black yeah. Liberation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, that's, that's, oh, God, that's weird. Isn't didn't, it? didn't say Black Fatherhood. <laughs> um, don't know what that's about. We'll just, we'll just leave that there, I suppose. Why don't why don't they respect Black Fathers? I, um, hmm, I don't know. But also, just again, with the. Look, you, you get this. Royal stuff. Bank over there. Okay, that's. Probably not owned by a native Barbadoan. But I mean, it's banks. So. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But, but the the thing in my mind is, what I'm looking at that. Like, if that was happening <clears> on <throat> American campus from some like 17 year old black guy, and he's fallen in with that crowd. Yeah. It's kind of understandable in the sense of like, 
you know, there's this minority group that live in America and mm -hmm. are obsessed with their race because of history and they can't um, make themselves anew or integrate themselves into a greater whole as Americans mm -hmm. of all races or something. And instead are obsessing over the fact, you know, me black. And you can you can see it, right? You can yeah. see that 17 year old yeah, in his yeah. little drum circle singing about black liberation sure. in 2020. It's cringe, but sure, whatever. And it's 2021. 2021. But this dude, I mean, this dude in a society of 91% black guys. But what, what I don't I, get, look at them though. They, they've all got mobile phones. They've yeah. all got, like, look at the bags. Look at the stuff they're wearing. They're wearing latest fashions. They, they, they've got the merch. They've got nice clothes. They live in a nice place. Mm. But again, I just, like, the cause being the, you know, the black man's being kept down by white supremacy in a society of 91%. I keep saying it, but just. It, you will never have peace with these people. No. You cannot at any point get peace with racial socialists. They don't care how nonsensical their arguments are. Yeah. And they are as nonsensical as they are in the West, in any Western country. But applied to somewhere like this, we get the evidence. I mean, okay. Well, that's exactly it. Like, they, they couldn't ask... I mean, well, they're, they're actually... They, all they can do now is drive white business owners out of their country, even though I doubt the white businesses are a white monopoly in Barbados. They're all Irish as well, so... Yeah, well, yeah, there's that. But, like, I really doubt that's a monopoly of any kind. It's just going to be free market. Hmm. Uh, but they're, they're not in any way lacking for anything. Look at them. You know, lots of them look very well fed. Uh, you know, they've all got the nice stuff, and it's all purely ideological. You've got black government, black parliament, black police... Black people, whitey is the problem. Zero cause. Yeah. I mean, you know, not even a crumb of something to mislead you into believing this. Yeah. Like, at least with the American leftists, they, like, give you this uh, misleading narrative of, like, oh, no, yeah, the government's mostly white people, therefore, hmm, yeah, hmm, I mean, right. that is at least a true statement. And it's just like, you know, <laughs> that you know that's yeah. the level of thinking they're on, and it's dumb. But you don't even have that here. You've well, got nothing. I'm just watching the people wandering around in the streets behind, and there are just no white people. No. And that's, you know, okay, Barbados is like 90 plus percent black. Okay, that makes sense. But like, <laughs> what the uh, white plane is, is it like literally me being like, well, okay, look, the French have got their heel on the neck of this country uh, for, for you know, for hundreds of years. And so look around, where are they? Well, they're not here. <laughs> like, they're in France. But, you know, they're, they're, the French are the problem, you know? You know, you make that joke about saying that yeah, I've had the knee on the neck of some hundreds. You're stealing his material. Oh, okay. Sorry. Let's go for the last clip. Sorry, go on then. 400 years. Someone's knees have been on our neck. 400 years. They received their reparations. The Jews received their reparations. The slave masters received their reparations. The Koreans received their reparations. Where is the reparation that we should build back our society? Build back? What are you talking about? Everything looks great. Everything's fine. Oh, it's it's like, nicer architecture than we've got here. You've got Rihanna. She's worth 1.7 billion. Your island's worth 4 billion. You're, like, you're fine. But again, I mean, of course, because racial socialism... Had to bring up the Jews, didn't they? Well, yeah. Of like, well, the Jews got their reparations. Where's our reparations? So the Jews got their reparations from Germany after trying to commit a genocide. Yeah, unless he's trying to buy into the idea that all the slave traders were Jews, which is a very common theme in black nationalist circles. Good point, yeah. They're like, yes, uh, all those guys who enslaved us, they're Jews, am I right? It's just like, I mean, you're fucking high. Like, I don't know what's wrong with you. Sorry, I can't with the swearing. But no, no, no. Uh, it's just <laughs> madness. It's just absolute madness. There's nothing to the claim. But it's also, these people are the kind of insane folks that Chris Hitchens would say should be selling pencils in the street. Yes. And yet, they're the ones getting social change in that country as well. Mm -hmm. Like, it's such an open door that, mm. you know, hack jobs like that can get the change to the point of the statue's gone, the crown's kicked out. Yeah. It's just like, okay, keep going. No, no, yeah. I want to see it collapse. <clears throat> Honestly, do it. Get rid of any Irish business owners that are in Barbados. <laughs> they're not allowed to own their business anymore. Appropriate, if you must, you know. Get like, them let... reparations from the Irish. Go for it. <laughs> 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 Those evil Irish oppressors. Uh, where, does it, where does it end? And that's the question, isn't it? Well, it I guess we'll see. And um, frankly, good luck. I mean, if you're in Barbados and you're staring at that thinking... Oh my god! You know what is happening to this country? I I don't envy you at all, and uh, I, I just can't get over how there are literally ten conservatives in Barbados. Like we know the exact number because they—that's the number of votes they got. Yeah, the ten conservatives in Barbados. So if you're one of those ten guys, 
Feel free to send us an email. We'll get you a sponsorship form for when you become asylum seekers <clears throat> and the whole country falls apart, like racial socialism always does, which is why we cannot have peace with these people. You could build a country with a lot of people, such as even Destiny. You know, mm. he's, a, he's, he's still a left-winger. He's not changed his position at all. I know the left hate him right now, but he has not changed at all. He's just recognized <coughs> the, the far left are crazy. You can build a country with that guy. You can have yeah. some rights. These people, there is always something to be removed and it will eventually be you. 